So they've um, started doing roadworks right outside of my window, which is absolutely great. Not really, as um, the form as well isn't exactly great, but it isn't bad going into today where we have two very, 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 very tough games to start with. It's going to be a blast. Fingers crossed anyway. As yes, guys, welcome back to episode number five of season number six of the Hartlepool United FIFA 22 career mode. Like I always say at the start, I'm going to get it straight out of the way. Below is a big red button which you need to smash the subscribe one with the notification bell aside of it. Well, you don't need to, but if you're on this video, I'd hope you'd enjoy it and I'd hope you'd decide to do that. Also, links are in the description to all the other social platforms that you can follow me on and see stuff behind the scenes and the video stuff on them platforms as we are. Right into it, 10th in the league. Bang mid-table where the board wants us to finish, but we have desire to go higher if we can get there, of course. But it's going to be a challenge going into um, December now. We're moving very quickly with this one, aren't we? As today, we begin with Chelsea at home. Not the worst place to play them, but still a difficult game. Manchester City away. Watford Saints and Burnley at Turf Moor, which is a difficult game with the team they actually have. So, I am thinking about simming one of the big clubs. We haven't played Chelsea at home, so I'm thinking about simming Man City at the Etihad because it's going to be very difficult to get points. And this season, I'm thinking about points. Points equal prizes, prize being continental football, if we can squeeze in there. The Saints are a big team just above us. So we need to try and beat them. Watford are just below us, so that's going to be a challenge away. And Burnley's probably going to be simulated. They've just got promoted, of course. And then Villa and Nottingham Forest will be for the next episode. I actually don't know where Watford are. Yeah, just below us. Burnley are in the relegation zone, so I think they're fine to sim. I'm going to risk Man City, though, I think. The Chelsea game, of course, is at home, though. As looking at the academy... We've got some prospects coming through. Alan Ace being one of them. Jensen Haywood being the next. You've seen this guy before. His potential has only gone to 77, but 68 rated at 16 year old. Promote him straight up to the senior team. And Alistair Wallace. We could use a couple more players in them reserve. So we'll promote him as well. Get a bit of experience going. As the other two... Not 60 rated yet. Maybe if they get there before 18 year old, they could get promoted. And Alan Ace is definitely one for the future. I've put Alisa Wallace on the loan list, but not Jensen Wayward, because he's two weeks off going to 69 rated, and then he could be almost on the bench. Ben Thompson's had a lot of interest. He is 31 now. He could be off the bench. And Harrop's knocking on a bit as well. He's 30. Jensen Haywood could be the future straight away. He's not going to play, of course. Whilst we're challenging for higher positions in the league, of course, as McCalmont comes back in for O'Reilly, who's injured. And could he actually sneak on the bench now? Hmm, I'm, I'm not going to risk it straight away. I will go for Josh Harrop, but Jensen Hayward, remember the name, definitely going to be playing in the Cups, the FA Cup this season, next season's Cup, as that is the team I feel like we're going to take to Chelsea. Although very tired, could Brandon Fowler do a job? Mm, oh, Tamas Kiss. He is a bit tired though, is Tamas, so we, we did the win the last game though, so I don't really want to change it too much. Maybe Calderon who's tired for Luke Bolton, who's unhappy with his game time, and we'll go with just the one change. Woodman in goal, actually no, Beltran's tired as well. Let's give Thompson a try. Woodman in goal, Hoover, Duarte, Staunton, Knight and Bolton with Thompson... Not sitting. I'm going to make... No, Baker's been good forward. I'm being undecisive here. Thompson is going to sit back. Baker and McCalmon in front with Antonin and Kiss. Definitely going to come off a bit into the game, but he will start the game because I really like the way he's been playing recently. Got a goal against Leeds. 
and hopefully could get a goal against Chelsea somehow. And let's have a look at the Chelsea lineup for this game. Cohen Castiles in goal, Quartes, James Bastoni, Kimbempe and Chilwell, with Kai Havertz and Pedri sitting, Alvarez, Oshimen, and Mohamed Saleh. <laughs> Mohamed Saleh, not Salah, because of course he has been at Chelsea before, he's not there this time, it's Saleh. The different one. Excited to see how he can do as let's get going. We had a very good um, couple of games against big teams at the end of last season at home. But of course the Arsenal result didn't go in our favour as Kai Havertz has shown us to rate red. Literally since kickoff. That is absolutely outstanding. Kai Havertz has let his team down. It's high. It's dangerous. Maybe if it's another ref, he gets a yellow card to start off with, but I'll take that. Immediate dismissal at New Victoria Park right here. Two minutes into the game, Kai Havertz is marching us. Let's get some confidence from that, shall we? Tamas Kiss around the corner into Bolton, who's going to whip one in. Anton in at the front post. Wins his header, but not threatening with it. We have to start dominating the midfield now. We've got three against Warners. Chill well. Into Salah. Not the best pass around the corner, though. And Baker to try and get this away. Alfie McCalmon. Through to Tamas Kiss. And Antonin is the right side of the defence right here. He's through. He's the Spaniard. Takes his time and picks out the top corner. I had faith he was scoring that one. And he does. Taking the reins from John and Butterworth is Antonin, and what a finish from the Spaniard, just pass through, Tamas kiss, kiss of perfection with that pass, and put into the top bin, we lead against 10 man Chelsea, and I did not expect it to be like this against Chelsea right here, with a slightly fatigued side, as Chilwell, please don't jinx me, almost half an hour in, we do have the lead, as Saleh, with a bad pass, he has definitely not been Mohamed Salah in this game, he has been Salmeh, as that's a, Stupid little joke, as Tamas Kiss going round the houses, trying to chip it down the line. Not the best. And McCalmont in the middle, giving it off to Baker right here. You can see we've got the space. Look at this. Running through. Out to Hoover. He's got a man at the back post ready for it, but it's Tamas Kiss. He is so small. It is unreal. And Alvarez into Pedri right here, as Chelsea looking for an attack, and that's through to Alvarez. Just got to watch it in the middle. Staunton does. Oshiman still won it, and Bolton takes a dodgy touch to put it behind. Chelsea corner. Although they're down to 10 men, they will not give up the real Champions League winners in real life. As Alvarez, tackled by Antonin, still can't get the ball away. Pedri gives it short, and that's not a good pass. Tamas Kiss is tired, but he's still got pace. He's still got the legs to get forward. Like a mini Eden Hazard, the Hungarian Hazard, as he gives it off to Antonin right now. Who tries to cut back, give it back to Tamas Kiss. What a move this is, and he scores the second. Tamas Kiss created and finished that one. That is his name now. It is confirmed. The Hungarian Hazard. Glorious finish that one. Gives it to Antonin. He's, oh, his hold-up play was superb. Just knew when to give it back. And he put it into the same corner Antonin did. We are flying against high flyers Chelsea themselves. 2-0 at New Victoria Park. And I definitely think that dismissal has done us a favour in this one. As Victor Osherman, though, on a turn. Staunton in the way. Thompson's hit the deck. We've got it away, though. And that is half-time. 2-0 up against the Blues from the bridge. Absolutely amazing. Quite a few of our players tired, but it's been our two best in this game. Baker and Tamas Kiss. Antonin's been very, very good, but... Baker and Kiss have noticed a lot on the ball. They need to come off for Manchester City as Antonin's through again here. He's took a good touch. Antonin with the volley on the half volley, actually, and Castiles with a good save. Corner ball still, though, as we'll whip this one into the danger zone. Bolton's up there trying to win it. Can Tamas Kiss try? He, he does try, but Chilwell wins that. Thompson back towards the zone, and Kiss is going to be making way for Brandon Fowler in this game. Baker for Josh Harrop. Due to O'Reilly's injury, he's going to have to come into the team a lot more as Sebastian Coates playing at right wing back. Well, Rhys James is in centre back. Weird choice, Tuchel, as Osherman has the ball in the middle, though. Don't want to concede as it's a sloppy one from Chelsea. They have not been good. Don't think they've hardly had any shots at us. As now it's out to Thompson. Thompson with a dodgy touch, but still manages to get it out to Hoover. As he's going to go back and get it to Pedri. Might just have to settle for this result, which I don't mind at all still as... That was a short kick from them. Fowler, again, he's just passing it, picking it up and passing it, which is good. Bolton, a little bit sloppy, but McCalmont with a shot through bodies. And Castiles saves it, and Chilwell actually keeps that in, but 
Keep this up. It's 2-0. And the way the game is going, we should keep this up. As Fowler, here he is, turns and faces. Gives it out wide to Josh Harrop, who's going to run himself. Cuts inside. Now on to Antonin. Now into McCalmont. Go to the fullback. This is very good play. First time ball in. And... A bit of a voice break there, as he did when he's header. Unlucky in the end still, though, as now Mohamed Salah running down Knight. Just gets that at the front post. He will pass it out into Thompson. Now McCalmont. Anthony pointing for it. We didn't even get a chance to play the ball, but it's a clean sheet at the park against Chelsea with 10 men. 2-0. Of course it did us a favour, but we did that mostly ourselves. Two shall sunk. We get three points and three big ones on our chase for the top half finish. Absolutely phenomenal way to start this month off as we go to eighth in the league. Manchester City up next though, which of course I did say, and I'm going to stand by it, will simulate the fourth place team and I can't, get us, uh, I can't see us getting anything from it. Still though, we're, we're going to take the risk as move Pedro inside. Hoover's very tired. Bolton might have to start this one. Clark on the bench, or could Clark start it? Hmm, I, I don't know. Calderon does like to play at right wing back apparently as well. He can play all over, even in central midfield as Beltran for Thompson. Get that rating up. And we'll go with that for Man City. Of course, I'm pessimistic. I don't expect anything. But the next three games, which I play two of, I expect something from. I am risking it for a biscuit. Beat them last time in a simulation. Don't this time. It's a 3-1 defeat. Knight with the goal to put us 1-0 up. But then Ferran Torres, Pavalosa, and Braff to kill us off. And after that Chelsea win and then that defeat, we're now 10th in the league, which isn't the greatest, but we'll have to live with it as Watford are 16th. Have any of the other teams gone above them? No, they're just really on poor form. Burnley's below them. And the other team we play, Southampton, just above us. That's that's okay. That's the way we don't mind it. This is a rescheduled game. Liverpool. That means we've got the FA Cup announced. Who have we got in that? We... we okay, we don't have it announced. They've just moved fixtures. A bit weird. And we've gone back to the Chelsea team that we played. Apart from Beltran now, who's in CDM. Calderon back onto his right side. Whoever going to his. Watford away in London. And let's have a look at the Hornets. They have Herrera in goal. Sieltra, Pollock, Katambach and Fringpong. Matty Pollock in the team with Phillips sitting. Barcock, Grady, Brewster and Ontiveros. With Melville still up front. Used as that striker that doesn't look like they've got on the bench as well. No striker. And that is maybe why they're down in 16th. No real goal scorer for Watford. Which they've always had... Kind of one, like Troy Deeney always got goals for them. Who's the one in real life now? It's um, maybe Dennis, you could say, as now Hoover on the ball for us. We need to get started. Melville, of course, ex-midfielder, is good at tackling far up, and we've let him tackle us. And Beltran with a pass off to Hoover right here, who puts the ball around the corner into Baker. Beltran again, Tamas Kiss with a chip over the top. Almost worked out for McCalmont. Flick on, though. And Baker keeps it alive. This could be something. Fran Beltran hits the face of the defender. I was thinking it might hit the arm, but unfortunately for us, it didn't. As Hoover threw to Beltran right here again. He's got his back to goal and a man right up his jack sears. Now it's on to Kiss, who puts it around the corner onto Alpha McCalmont. There's Anthony waiting. It's a chip over the top. It's a header. And it's Herrera to stop it. Unlucky right there from us. Very good move, but just denied as the corner will come in. Header one as well, and still nothing from it. Turning out to be not the most entertaining of games, this one, as Kiss. That's a good ball slotted through, though, onto Antonin. And if we had bodies forward with him, we might stand a chance. He does very well to hold that up and sell the defender as Calderon, the defender himself, has to go backwards into McCalmont across to Baker and Hoover to deep whip in a ball there it's on to Antonin who can't do much with it it looks like at half time it might be nil nil because of all their defending however McCalmon with a bit of a gap right here a good touch just gets it wrong it's going all over the place and it's a handball we've been so lucky right here because we have been dreadful to say the least as it just hit Kattenberg I'm guessing in the stomach, definitely not a handball, but it's been given. Antonin scored the last one in this corner, and usually good scorers go to the same place. 
And usually they're not saved like that one. Justice done for the Hornets as we've got a corner still though. Don't want to draw this game. Duarte wins it. No one in the six yard box. And at half time it is nil nil. Watford have defended for their lives and it's working out for them. Wouldn't say I'm ashamed with the way they've played but we've definitely done better before us now. Phillips. Chips that out to Barcock. Not a good pass backwards, though. Straight into Tamas Kiss. Can we just light this second half up, please? Tamas looking for the optimistic ball. It's going to fall back to him. Just lay that off into Baker. Antonin, if he's onside, this is a great chance. Antonin, yes, he is. 1-0. We've got the goal, and it is the Spaniard with it. Don't know where the fans sit for us. I think we're at the other end of the stadium, aren't we? So... Might as well celebrate in front of the home fans as Antonin gets another. Like I said, these are the games we need to win. And we are winning now. It's a brilliant ball through from Baker again. And Antonin slots it home. A very surprising stat to me though. Is it's only his fifth goal this season. Seems like he's scored in most games as Antonin on it again. Tries to get the pass off. It looks like we're going to continue our dominance in this second half. We've woke up even more as Antonin, finding a little bit of a gap, has to go backwards into Hoover. Baker, brilliant play. Kattenberg just jumping on it. I do like how we've woken up, but it looks like Watford are going to try to do the same here. Brewster with a long shot. Phillips tries to get a block. Fran jumping up for the headers, not really getting there as that's whacked out wide. As far as Barcock, who's maybe going to whip one in. He doesn't. Into Salantina, however you say that name. Brewster again. Watford going round the outside. And Antiveros to fire it home. They level it up with their first shot of the game. Coming in the second half. And that's poor from Freddie Woodman. I say we should be saving that one. As Watford have got their leveller. It's squeezed behind Hoover as well. Not good defensively. But not good to get beat on that angle. 1-1. One, one. Not the best at all. As I'm going to sub Antonin off as well for Tamas Kiss. Because I do like my little pace merchant. And although Antonin has scored the goal, it was on a plate for him. So we're going to make that controversial change again. It's been working out for us so far. As that is passed straight out of play. We've got 20 minutes left to get us back into it. And I say back into it. We are level, of course. But we need to be winning this one. As Alfie McCallum It's a great ball around the corner from Thompson, who's just come on. And it's in from Tamaskis. The open net works out for us. We do have, hopefully, the winner right now. And we're going to celebrate with the substitute. That's the youngster, Jensen Wayward, who's, by the judge of any of his shots, he's got the number seven shirt. Maybe he makes an appearance now. I was waiting to see if he would come on as that's a great run from Alfie McCalmon. Down that wing and just across the net to tap it home. Brilliant stuff. And Watford are going to continue, but that Phillips in the midfield. He's trying to be Calvin Phillips with the balls he's playing forward, but he really hasn't done well. Sorry to say that as Tamas tries to cut inside with a skill move he cannot do. But again, Phillips giving it away. McCalmon. Here's Jensen Hayward. Straight on the ball. Around the outside. Into Hoover. Back post towards Pedro. Which it almost fell for. And now Calderon to take it by line. Back into Pedro. Big header. And saved. Unlucky from the big man. That's what we want more of now. He's just come on and done it straight away. That's what I want when he starts games. As Tamas. By far the man of the match again. Should have won us the game. Although that pass isn't a good one. Giving them the opportunity for a counter-attack as Brewster across to Antiveros. Now over the top into uh, Barcock, who's not done well for the wing position. But still, they have the ball inside. Moreno has scored. We're going to draw the game. They've had two shots and scored them both. Two points dropped from two stupid, stupid goals. And that was Tamas Kiss who lost the ball. Said he won man of the match. Probably not now. He's actually cost us the game a little bit. Across the back, in at the near post, where Freddie Woodman should be sticking his hands out, but doesn't. Blasted home to get Watford an undeserved point. I cannot believe that. Have we got time? We don't. 2-2 Two -two in London, and that is an absolute shocker of a game. It was guaranteed three points. It was guaranteed three points, but we gave them two shots. Which they just scooped up completely. Very frustrating that one as we do stay in 10th. And Southampton we play right now. The team that we thought we were going to be chasing for that 7th place spot. But there's teams above us both now. So we're going to make sure we beat them. They's always managed to find a way against us. 4-1 it was last time at New Victoria Park. As we've got to make sure that changes. Moreno 
actually got his eighth goal of the season in that last game. To say that, he didn't play well. As then after this, we have Burnley in the simulation to end us off, which we need another win in. But we'll make sure we get it in this one first. As the team, do we change much of it? I do not know. O'Reilly starts, so Haywood can stay on the bench. Didn't see him really do anything apart from one complete pass. As Tamas Kiss did let us down, but he also got the goal. Both strikers did. Got to be the same team. And of course, hoping for a different result this time, but with the same team as Ross is in goal. Livramento, Danso, Tshapchet and Bello. With Barja, Thomas, Maitland, Nars and Dahl. With Onlundu and Renier still up front. It's a very similar team, which is doing well for them. Hopefully, we can stop that though. Let's get to it as Alfie McCalmont into Baker. We go at them straight away, full force as Hoover. With a pass across, Beltran, Knight, Calderon. Good bit of passing as Christian Calderon cutting inside now into McCalmont. And we've lost it already. Maybe we're not as good at possession as I thought, as that's a bad kick from Rossi though. Like I said, every time the Saints have beaten us, they have not played well. Hopefully, there can be an exception here as Kiss is through and he puts it in that top bin. And right, now we have a lead. We don't let it slip. Tamas continuing his form, apart from that little blip at the end of the last game. With another goal, the Hungarian Hazard added again through in the rain, slips it into the top bin. What more can you ask for? Incredible stuffs as Unlundu around the corner. Renier Unlundu on it again. Here's the number nine. He goes out to Dahl. Don't let them back in it. Whatever you do, they just get one chance and they're lucky with it as two men blocking the same shot. You can see a bit more. Get up and go this time. Antonin's through as well. It's another chip ball over the top. But what pace from Bello as Rossi. Bad kick again. Can Kiss put the pressure on? He does. Of course, he's not winning at his, age, at his age. At his height. Actually, don't know Tamas Kiss's age. Our new top scorer, though, may I add. Seven goals. Antonin's got six, I think. As uh, Knight comes out of line to make the tackle right there. Now on to Tamas. That's a good cut away. He's got Baker making the run, but he was quite greedy on that occasion. Greedy, but slightly unlucky as Renier on a turn. Thomas has a bit of a run on it as right here. As now Kike Barger is out wide. I hate this guy. Always scores against me. Let's defend him properly, shall we? Calderon. Good touch, but it's still a corner. Half an hour, of course, into the game. Thomas, plenty of time for them as Thomas gives it back. Maitland-Niles and Lundu were wrong side. Don't let them slip it into the middle. Somehow, they find a way as they've done it there. And they've scored. They've slipped in the bottom corner. Why, when I'm telling the team to do something, do we not do it? Saints have played poorly, but a level. They always find a way. I don't know what it is with them. It's chipped in. Beltran just watches it go past. No one throws the body at it. Woodman does, but too late. Too close in. Renier with the man in front of him here. Unlundu is cut inside and Woodman has to claw that out of the top corner. Right, come on. Let's wake up a little bit now because I've been saying they've been playing bad, but now they're actually probably on top. As Baker with a pass into Beltran. Across now into McCalmont. Get that through the middle. There we go. Antonin. Good back heel to Tamas Kiss. He's only got one option though. Calderon. Who gives him it straight back. Near post. Blocked by... I'm not going to try and pronounce his name again. But the centre back. As that is the end of the first half. 1-1. One, one. Again. A game I would say. We don't deserve to be drawing. Let's make sure we do better in this second passage of play. Shall we? As Dahl. Tries to get it past us, but Duarte in the way. Baker with the drilled pass through to Antonin. Look at the run from Liam Baker again. Or Lewis Baker, should I say. Forgot my captain's name. As he chips it back in towards Antonin. Tries to flick it on. Unlucky. Still, we have the ball, though, with the high press. As McCalmon going to get that around the corner, is it? Yes, Calderon does just get there. Whip that in. We'll take the corner. Good pressure from Christian as now... Pedro, of course, not on the field, but we can whip it into the danger zone with Lewis Baker. Looks to go towards Antonin and saved by Rossi. Right, come on, let's get this goal to put us in front. Good chance right there. Duarte up this time. Unsuccessful again as McCalmon into Beltran. Now on to Tamas Kiss and look at Antonin again. He's behind the defence. First time saved and he was on side. I thought he was off. Thompson's going to come on for Beltran. A bit more attacking as we are all over them. Like I said, don't deserve a draw. Duarte with another header. 
Rossi gets the catch. We need to start taking chances pronto as Reece Staunton. Tamas Kiss over the top. Can he get there, Antonin? No, he's coming off anyway. As that's going to be a free kick for us. Yes, it is. Baker stood over this one. Thompson wanting it quick, but I'm going to take my time. And whoever's actually got better free kick accuracy. Let's test the right wing back. Hasn't had many shots in this team. Goes for it now. And quite an easy save. Not cornered enough as Baker wins the header though. Pedro now on the field. Kiss messes up that pass to Pedro. Just need to be winning corners like we were at the start of this half. As Maitland Niles out to Lee Dong Kyung. Who tries to get round us. Doesn't. Tackled there. Was a good one from Hoover. As McCalmont now into Kiss. Have we got Bolton now on this wing? Who I have subbed on. We do. Pedro get in the middle. Bolton, what are you doing? No wonder you're unhappy with no game time when you play crap like that as Duarte. I've got to say he's had a very solid game here. It's not his fault, the goal, and he's been a good centre-back as that's just knocked away from us. Now Thomas around the corner into El Yanusi on Lundu. El Yanusi again. I hate the fact we're going to draw this. Or are we even going to do that? Because Renier is running through the team. Knight with a block. Maitland Niles into Unlundu. Don't let him get it off. Very lucky not to be handball. As Kiss turn and run. That's very good from Tamas Kiss to let that run through. As here he is. The Hungarian running through on goal. Pedro at the side. And he has missed it. You can't afford to do that in this big six pointer for the top half chase. But Tamas has missed it. That is what you call a bottle job. Tamas, I've been so, so full of praise for you. But that was just embarrassing. As now El Yanusi into Renier. They're going to get another chance. And I know for a fact they'll take it. As Bello doesn't know where to go. But now gives it into the winger. Across into Thomas. Need to mark up. Make sure we don't lose it if we're not going to win it. Maitland Niles across to Renier, the striker. Out wide. Lee Dong Kyung. They always find a way into the middle. They've found it again. Maitland Niles. Woodman with a stop. As I cannot stop them. And offside in the making as we'll take it really quick. Come on. We want all three points here. They are vital for our push. As now Baker. Get that through that gap. He does. Tamas Kiss to run through. They've tried taking him out. Tamas Kiss with a long shot off the crossbar. Oh my days. Talk about unlucky. A 1-1 draw with the Saints as well. But my days. What a chance. Off the bar. The only game we've actually won today has been against Chelsea. Who would have thought? I'd say very unlucky from us. Still, we stay, I'd say, top half. Tenth as top half. So, we'll have to take it. But the gap is increasing. The gap is increasing where we... Well, we shouldn't be. We're aiming for mid-table, but we've still got the hopes and ambitions of higher up, and that gap is increasing. So, let's make sure I eat my words of saying we only beat Chelsea. We're going to beat Burnley as well. I've got faith away at Turf Moor, though. So, I'm going to have a look at this contract situation. Knight's running out. Calderon, Baker, Marinovic again. Maybe that's his last season, though. Harrop. Can we actually give him one? Yeah, he wants to not retire. He wants to stay playing. Um, Ingram as well, he'd probably want to leave, so it's going to be harsh with his and O'Reilly. Some important players' contracts running out, but focus on Burnley, focus on the task in hand. We're going to go with the same team that should have won the game, apart from Unlundu's lucky shot. Please don't lose against the relegation team, and we don't. A 3-2 win. We win the battle. And Tuna with the first, and Tonin with the reply, Kent, McCalmont, and Baker. Midfield coming in clutch. And up to 8th. So this is where we want to be. Although I see Tottenham's on the up again. They're going to try and knock us out. Brighton maybe the team that might fold. Well, not to be harsh to Brighton fans and the Brighton team. But out of all of those teams up there, I would expect them to go first. As one defeat today in a simulation against City. Not bad. Still should have won two games that we drew. As we've got Villa, Forest, Fulham, Watford and City again. So... I'd say four unbeaten out of five in the next episode as well would do me perfect. Maybe three wins, ten points out of 15. I feel like would keep us on this chase. As unfortunately, guys, though, this is the end of the episode right here. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe with notifications on importantly so you know when the next episode does come out. 
Don't plan on missing a day, but if it happens, I apologise and you will know from the bells. Take care, in a bit, follow the links in the description as well, and peace.